really don't like chasing points and doing a whole bunch of shopping apps so that I can get points. There's really only one app that I use that I love that takes minimal time and that is the Fetch App Rewards. So I wanted to hop in and see exactly how many points I've earned during lockdown when grocery bills are just kind of a thing where we're spending a little bit more on groceries. Let's check it out. Hey, what's up guys? It's Justine with Debt Free Millennials, the channel to help you crush your debt and live payment free. If you want to learn how to become debt free, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Now, when it comes to apps and getting points for your shopping habits, I only use Fetch App Rewards. I've tried Ibotta. I hated clipping digital coupons and Fetch doesn't do that. In fact, all you have to do to earn points is simply scan your receipt after you visited the grocery store, Walmart, Target, any of those places will also work and you will get points. And then those points can be turned into gift cards from literally hundreds of different retail stores, which I think is really helpful for when you want to use it for Christmas or birthdays or just spending some fun money on yourself without dipping into your budget. Let's go ahead and hop into my fetch rewards and I will show you exactly how many points I've earned since lockdown occurred in March. So I'm going to go over to activity and then I'm going to click on view all and then go and look at this on a month to month view. So starting in March, I earned 2,910 points, April 497 and so far in May 504 points. So you're probably thinking what the heck did you spend in March that got you to such a high point count because you can see I uploaded 11 receipts that totaled almost $1,300. April, I only scanned four receipts and that was $1,100. So that's really not that big of a cost difference. So if I go into March, aha, Target definitely got me those points. The Kotex liners. <laughs> The Kotex liners got me 2,500 points. So you can see that when you buy brand products that have an affiliation to the Fetch App Rewards, they're going to reward you for that. So any kind of brand name stuff, such as Kotex liners, that's going to get you more points. So you can see whenever you get ready to head out to the store, you could scan and just look at the list of items that are going to give you more bonus points to help you get more points. But here's the thing, I don't always buy brand label products. Comment below if you do or if you buy store brand. When it comes to food, I definitely look at store brand labels because Kroger mustard, I think, is just as good as French's, you know? But but then there are other things like mayonnaise. I definitely think Hellman's, or they call it best out here, the best mayonnaise, I think, is way better than, like, a Kroger version of that. And so it really depends on your shopping habits. It depends on what type of brands you typically steer towards, but because I like to keep things within budget on my grocery items, I'm going to shop store brands which aren't going to give you as many points within Fetch. But then there are some stuff that I do look at brand names because I just know that's a better product for me. I've tested it and I like it better. You're going to get more points that way. Okay, so if I hop back to my activity. It looks like everything that I spent in May only really earned me 25 points per receipt. Keep in mind that you can also link your Amazon account and get points for any Amazon purchases. Likewise, you can link your email address and it'll scan your inbox. So if you're comfortable with that, with the, the privacy settings there, you can scan your inbox and any receipts that Fetch finds within your inbox, they can also upload it into your Fetch app rewards and you can get points that way. So at Costco just the other day, I got 254 points and I bet it's for that mayonnaise. Yes, and the Autumn's Gold Grain-Free Toasted Coconut Almond Granola. <laughs> 
I've never bought this before. This is something that I saw at the store, very like impulse. Hmm, I'm sure that would make a good snack. And so I added that to my cart and that got me 149 points. So all in all, if you add up, let's go back. If you add up the 2910, 497, and 504, that is a total of 3,911 points and roughly a thousand points equals a dollar. So I earned just under $4 for three months of spending during lockdown. I increased my grocery budget. I actually was over budget in April and I think in March, and I just made $4. So people who are like, you can make thousands of points on Fetch App Rewards. Yes, you can if you use somebody's code, they get points, you get points, all of that. But honestly, it hasn't been that much, guys. So I still think it's useful to upload your receipts into the grocery store app because it's very easy. All it takes is literally 30 seconds to upload it and you're done. And I already have 13,557 points. So I'm pretty close to getting up to that $15 mark and then I could turn it in for a gift card. But honestly, I'm probably just gonna hold on to this until I can max it out for a $50 gift card to someplace interesting and fun, probably Marshalls. So if you wanna try Fetch App Rewards, I highly recommend it because it takes no time, no digital coupons, and if you do buy some of the brand name products, you'll get more points for that. So if you already shop that way, you might as well use this app and see what kind of points you get. I will leave my link for you to sign up for Fetch App Rewards. I love it, I think it's awesome, and it's a great way to continue your debt-free journey and living a debt-free life by getting some points and turning those points into rewards that you can use for whatever you want. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more tips on how to crush your debt and live debt-free.